Hello, Palm Beach Village students. This is Mr. Lin, letting you know that Christmas has come early because today I'm gonna to show you how to sign up for an FLVS course the easy way. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get to FLVS.net like you see on my screen here. Once you get to this home screen, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is click Enroll. So once you click enroll, you're going to see four different options. You're going to want to click on the first one, FLVS Flex Trades K through 12. So now you're going to be brought to another page where you're going to see how to enroll in FLVS Flex. So you're going to review your requirements, pick your courses, verify, and then ensure all courses are approved by us, the counselor. But for you, all you want to do right now is click enroll in 6 through 12. So once you click on that, it's gonna bring you to this nice little page right here, where you're gonna have the option of picking a bunch of different classes. However, for the most part, most of you will be taking driver's education and traffic safety. So go ahead and click on driver's education and traffic safety, or any other class you want. And then you're gonna go ahead and click add to backpack. So now the course is in my backpack and I can either go back and choose to add more courses or I can continue, which we're gonna do right now. So now it's gonna bring you to a login. So if you already have a username and password, at this point you can go ahead and log in or for you new students, you're gonna go ahead and click create an account. So I'm gonna create an account with you guys today. So I'm gonna put John Doe 23. And now is where you create your password. So make sure your password is something that you're gonna remember. Um, if you wanna use your, your student information that you use here at Palm Beach Lakes, that's perfectly fine. Just make sure it's gonna be something you can remember and not forget because to go through the process if you forget your password is a, is a pretty annoying task. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my password now. And now I'm going to put in my email. And then go ahead and click continue. So once you do that, it's going to bring you to your personal and demographic page. For this, you're just going to fill out your basic information. Um, your phone number, your address, and then you're gonna go ahead and continue. So let's do it together. So we got John Doe. I am, uh, I'll be a freshman this year. And we go to a public school in Palm Beach County School District, Palm Beach. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is select the high school we go to which is Palm Beach Lakes. So I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna look for Palm Beach Lakes High School. Palm Beach Lakes, Palm Beach Lakes, Palm Beach Lakes High School. So if for whatever reason you don't see our school there, there's a good chance you might've clicked private charter or homeschool. So just double check to make sure you have public school selected. Now this is one of the most important steps. Sometimes a student won't know who their counselor is. So they'll put, I don't know my counselor. You have to make sure that you select one of us. Make sure you put who your counselor is. So for me, I'll put myself, but if you don't put your counselor, your class will never be approved and you won't be able to start. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put in my date of birth. Bye. We're going to select the, where is the United States? United States, primary language English, and I am a male.
Alpha Asian. No. So this will be my cell phone. Five six one six four five zero zero zero. For those of you who don't know, that's actually the line to the school. Now we're going to put in our address. So again, you're not putting in the school's address. I'm just using the school's information um, as the demo. You're going to want to put in your actual home address where you live. And remember, we are in Palm Beach County. Zip code three. 3407 for the school, not necessarily your house again. We're going to hit continue. All right, so once we get to the next page here now, so once we get back to this page, uh, you're gonna go ahead and hit continue, and now you're onto your, your parent information. So for here, you wanna put in your parent or guardian's information, their phone number, their email address, and their address. So the address will most likely be the same as the address you already put in your home address. So we'll just put John Doe again. He is my father. And his email address just happens to be the same. So now I'm going to put his cell phone number in. There we go. Now we'll make it his work number. Change this to work. Preferred contact time will go early evening. So we'll make his address the same. We're going to go ahead and hit continue again. So now you're going to get to the very end, the confirmation page. So you're just going to double check to make sure everything is right. Scroll through. If everything is OK, and everything makes sense, go ahead and hit continue again. And now they're just going to ask you to do a quick little survey. You can just click other, other if you want. You're going to have to agree. The parent agrees as well. And basically what this is saying is that you agree to submit all your paperwork on time, all your homework on time, um, and that you're going to do the work that's asked of you. So now you're just going to type in your name, John Doe, to say you've signed. Hit continue. And now you're going to want to do semester one. You're going to select the date you'd like to start. So whichever date you pick, if you pick the same date you sign up, so we're signing up on the 15th, the next day will be the 16th. It usually takes a couple of days for you to get into the actual classroom. So if you put your start date as the next day, you most likely won't be able to start until about four or five days later. So once we put our date, semester one, and continue. 
you're gonna have to read this, confirm prerequisites. I understand following courses, and I acknowledge that I have met these requirements. Hit confirm. You're gonna click submit enrollment. And now you can go ahead and return to flvs.net, and you are all signed up for your FLVS course. Good luck, guys.